Hi, welcome. This is Arish from JetTechnics.com. This is a video series on Google Maps API. In this video, we will have a look at how to draw shapes in Google Map. There are four kind of shapes that we can draw: the rectangle, circle, polyline, and polygons. In this video, we will look at rectangle and circle. In our next video, we will have a look at polyline and polygons. To draw a rectangle, we need to provide few properties. The main one being the bounds. Bounds is a pair of coordinates specifying the northeast coordinate and the southwest coordinate to draw the rectangle. And optionally, we can provide some color values, color for the line of the rectangle and the fill color of the rectangle. Let's look at an example. We will try to create a rectangle similar to this. To start with, I have a simple Google Map code which just creates a Google Map and displays in a div. The map looks something like this. To add a rectangle, you just need to create a object of type Google dot Maps dot rectangle, and we need to provide some rectangle options. First one is the reference to the map object. Next, the bounds object. As we saw in our earlier video, bounds is created by using Google dot Maps dot lat long bounds, and provide two lat long objects. Or provide two coordinates somewhere near one one coordinate somewhere near California, and other one near Las Las Vegas. Right, we have created the map, the rectangle object by providing the map reference and the bounds. I'll save the file and reload the page in the browser. We can see the rectangle, and it's using a default color of black border and a kind of gray filled in color. We can modify this by providing the fill color. You can use any HTML color code here. So I will give uh, green for the fill color and uh, the border color, the stroke color. I will just say red. Save, reload. We see the rectangle. Some applications may need. To allow user to edit this rectangle, say they want to resize the rectangle, move it around, depending on on your application needs. To do that, for the rectangle, we can specify attribute called editable, and provide true. This will make the rectangle editable. So I reload the page. As we can see, we have these controls to edit the rectangle. I can resize it at any corner or any side. Similarly, we can make the rectangle to move around. We make it draggable by using a draggable attribute. Set it to true. Now reload. Now we can move this rectangle around. We can move it somewhere here and also resize it. When we are resizing the rectangle and moving it around, Google Maps. Trigger some event listeners. I mean, trigger some event which we can listen to. To listen to editable, to listen to this event, we can do is add a listener. Listener and for the rectangle and the specify the listener that is bounds change and provide a function that needs to be called. I have a div called info. I will display the new bounds information inside this div. Event ID info dot inner HTML equals to rectangle dot get bounds. 
I will refresh the page. So when I resize the rectangle, you can see this information displayed here. The two coordinates that's the bounds, the northeast and the southwest bounds. This gets triggered even when we move this rectangle around. Next, let's look at creating circles. To create a circle, we need to provide the center, that is the lat long coordinate where the red, where the circle needs to be drawn, and we need to specify the radius of the circle. The radius is specified in the unit of meters. Let us create a simple circle. Circle equals to u google dot maps dot circle and provide the options. The first one the reference to the map object. Next center of the circle. This is a lat long object. Specify the coordinate. I will specify some coordinate somewhere near California. Of course, in your real application, this lat long will be dynamically fetched from somewhere. And next, we need to provide the radius. This is in meters. Say I will provide like 80,000 meters. Save it and reload the page. You can see a circle and using a default color for the fill and the stroke. You can customize this similar to rectangle. You can provide a stroke color and the fill color. You can also provide the you know the weight of the stroke color. That means what's the size of the border. Or also you can specify the opacity also. So we see the border is green and the fill is the red and it is it has some default opacity. We can make circle also editable. Editable true. This makes circle editable. Editable means user can resize the circle. Also he can move the circle around. When the circle is moved around or resized there is events we can listen to. There are two events in in circle. The first is radius changed. We need to specify the circle object and the event name and provide the function that needs to be called. Here we can use a radius new information. I will display in the info div. It's a circle dot get radius. So when I reload and when I resize my circle, there is seems to be some issue. Let's see. Google dot map dot event dot circle event add listener. Circle radius changed function get radius. Aha, uh -huh. the name of circle object misspelled. Okay, let's reload now. Now when I resize the circle, I can see the new radius of the circle displayed here. This radius is in the unit of meters. This is 2,12,886 meters. Similarly, we can listen to another event called the center changed for circle. This is triggered when circle is moved around in the map. Circle and center changed provide a function and similar to this we will I will display the new center information in the info div reload now 
when I move the circle, you can see the new coordinates of the center of circle changing in the info div. You can move it around. Let's let's look at a practical example of using uh, using a shapes something like circle. Let's say we have some data about visitors our of our website. And it is say example it's in city wise. Say less from Las Vegas we have three hundred visitors every day, and California has around twelve hundred visitors every day. Similarly, we have a bunch of data. So we can use this data to represent represent this data in the map using circles. Let's see how we can do that. First, I need some data. So I have some data already defined as a JavaScript array. So I have an array called visitors and visitors has some data like the name of the city, the lat long of the city and the visitors count. As we can see Las Vegas has only 300 visitors and California has around 800 and New York has some 12, 1200 visitors. We can represent this in the map by drawing circles. Let's see how we can use this. I will create a circle object. I will specify some options. First is a reference to the map. Then center is the visitors of i dot lat long. Next we have to specify the radius. Radius are specified depending on the number of visitors we have. See, I will say visitors of i dot visitors into say 500. This is because the radius is always in unit of meters. I will specify some fill color, say red, and I reload the page. You can see that circles are drawn on the map depending on the data we have. See the New York circle is little bigger compared to California or Las Vegas. This is again just an example on how we can use data to draw different things on the map. We can draw different color depending on depending on the data we have. See visitors having more than 500 we can draw it in a green color. And there are a lot of things you can do using these available uh, options. Thank you for watching. In our next video, we will look at how to how to create polylines and polygons. Those are the main things we use to draw road maps and the route maps in Google Map. For more videos, please visit jtings.com.